Now releasing all goblins. Nanka! This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey, gang, and welcome back. Today's game features me and three of my Brazilian buddies. We have the triumphant return of Omar playing Taralf, keeping Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, Two Mountains, Wild Ricochet, By Force, Big Score, and Blasphemous Act. I've borrowed Atraxa, Grand Unifier, keeping a Gond Gate, Broker's Hideout, Undying Malice, Sungrass Prairie, Simic Signet, Command Tower, and Island. We have Andreas playing Mishra, and he keeps Bedevil, Lithoform Engine, Thran Dynamo, Command Tower, Island, Wayfarer's Bobble, and Luxury Suite. Last but not least, we have Rodrigo, who, for transparency's sake, is employed by Wizards of the Coast, and he's keeping Chromium. He keeps a Darkwater Catacombs, White Mane Lion, Opposition Agent, Planes, Arcane Signet, and Afara. Rodrigo wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a Darkwater Catacombs. Omar plays a Mountain. I play a Command Tower and cast Serum Visions. I keep one on top and bottom the other and pass. Andre draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He taps it for one and casts a Wayfarer's Bobble. Rodrigo plays a Plains and taps two for Arcane Signet. Omar just plays a Mountain. I play a Gond Gate and tap two for Simic Signet. Andre plays a Command Tower and taps two for Mind Stone. Rodrigo draws and plays a Prairie Stream, passing. Omar draws and to the surprise of no one, plays a Mountain before passing turn. I play a Broker's Hideout, sacrificing it and going to find a forest and gain one life, passing after that. Andreas draws and plays an island. He casts a Soul Ring and then uses that to help cast Thran Dynamo. He then taps the Dynamo to help cast Lithoform Engine and passes. On his end step, Rodrigo flashes in an Opposition Agent. Rodrigo draws and plays an island. He casts a Wavebreaker Hippocamp and goes to combat. He swings the agent at Andreas for 3 and passes. Omar draws and plays out Nykthos. He then casts by force, putting 3 into the X, and destroys the Lithoform Engine, Soul Ring, and Thran Dynamo, and Andreas feels very targeted. With one of his opponents significantly set back, Omar passes. I draw and play an island. I then cast Packed Weapon and pass. Andreas draws and plays a Swamp. He then casts Mishra. Moving to combat, he makes a 4-4 copy of the Mind Stone and swings it at Rodrigo. It connects, and Andreas then passes. During Andreas' end step, Rodrigo flashes in a White Mane Lion, drawing from the Hippocamp, and bounces the Lion back to hand. Moving to his turn, he then plays a Talisman of Progress in his main phase. He moves to combat and hits me for 5 and passes. Omar draws and in his main phase casts Big Score, discarding Kazul's Fury to draw 2 and make 2 treasures. He then plays a Mountain and passes. I draw and play a Manor Gate, choosing white as my second color. I play a Skullwinder and choose Andreas to make a friend, and I get back Serum Visions while he returns Lithoform Engine. I then cast the Serum Visions and keep one on top and bottom the other. After that, I equip my Packed Weapon onto the Skullwinder and pass. During my end step, once more the White Mane Lion comes into play and Rodrigo gets to draw a card. Andreas draws and plays a tapped Temple of Epiphany, scrying one and bottoming it. He then replays the Lithoform Engine and goes to combat. Mistress Trigger makes him another engine, and he swings it at Rodrigo, 
dealing four once more. Andreas then passes, and Rodrigo repeats his white main lion trigger on the end step, drawing a card. And in response to the bounce back to hand, Omar decides to finally cut him off by pyroblasting the wave break hippocamp. Rodrigo draws and plays a sunken hollow. He then casts a Fara and moves to combat. He swings the opposition agent and Omar, dealing three. In his second main phase, he casts Sword of Feast and Famine, passing. Omar draws and plays an Ornithopter of Paradise. He then casts his commander, Taralf, and passes. I draw and go to combat. I swing the Skullwinder at Rodrigo, and the Pact Weapon triggers, revealing a Green Sun's Twilight, pumping it by plus one plus zero and dealing one to me. He then takes the hit. In my second main phase, I play a Plains, and then cast a Traxa. I get to keep six cards out of the ten, which is really good. And then move the Pact Weapon over onto a Traxa, discarding a card. After that, I then move to discard, and pass. Andreas draws and casts an Elsewhere Flask, and then a Demir Signet. He then casts Feed the Swarm on Atraxa, taking 7, but getting to destroy her. Going to combat, he makes a token copy of the Mind Stone again, and swings it at Omar, and Mishra goes at me. Omar and I take our hits, and with nothing else, Andreas passes. Rodrigo draws and equips the sword onto the opposition agent. He then casts Heartless Summoning and goes to combat. He swings the agent at me, dealing 4. With the sword trigger on the stack, he flashes in White Mane Lion to trigger a Farah on Omar's upkeep, and then I discard a card, and Rodrigo gets to untap his lands, and then pass his turn. Rodrigo draws on Omar's upkeep from a Farah, and then Omar draws in his draw step. Omar then casts a Cleansing Wildfire, blowing up the Darkwater Catacombs, and gets to draw a card. Rodrigo gets to go and find a Swamp as a replacement, and Omar then moves to combat once it's done. He swings Taralf at Rodrigo, who takes the hit for 5, and Omar passes. I draw, and play an Island. I cast Seal from Existence, and Rodrigo responds by countering it with a Swan Song. I then equip the Pact Weapon to Skullwinder, and go to combat. I swing the Skullwinder at Rodrigo, and the Pact Weapon flips into a Sculpted Sunburst off the top, losing me 5 life, but pumping the Skullwinder by 5 power. Rodrigo responds by casting a Soul Shatter, and I'm forced to sacrifice the Skullwinder, Omar sacrifices Taralf, and Andreas sacrifices Mishra. In my post-combat main phase, I then move the Pact Weapon onto the Bird Token, and pass. Andreas draws and recasts Mishra, and then goes straight to combat. He makes a copy of the Elsewhere Flask, and draws a card as it enters. He swings the 4-4 Flask at Omar, who takes the hit. Andreas then casts a Mishra's Bobble, and passes turn after that. Rodrigo draws, and swings the Opposition Agent at Andreas. Andreas can't block, so he takes the 4, and with the Sword Trigger on the stack, Rodrigo flashes in a Nimrus. Andreas then discards a card, and Rodrigo untaps his lands, and will get to draw a card on Omar's upkeep. Omar draws, and in his main phase, casts Fire Servant, and passes. I draw, and play a Plains. I go to cast a Green Sun's Twilight, putting 8 into the X, and Omar responds by casting Wild Ricochet and targeting it. This has Rodrigo responding to Omar, casting an Obscura Interceptor and bouncing the Green Sun's Twilight to my hand, fizzling Omar's Ricochet as well. The Interceptor dies due to Heartless Summoning, but Rodrigo still gets to trigger Nimrus and connives. Going to combat, I swing the bird at Rodrigo, revealing Cloud Kill from my top to make it 8 total in the air, while I take 6. Rodrigo then chumps with Nimrus to prevent the 8 damage, and I pass after that. Andreas draws and casts Bedevil to target the Sword of Feast and Famine, blowing it up. He then casts an Iker Wellspring, and Andrigo responds by flashing an Abolith spawn. Going to combat, 
Andreas then copies the Mishra's bobble and copies Mishra's trigger with Luthiform Engine to make two 4 4 bobbles. He then moves to combat and swings all of his creatures at Rodrigo, who chumps Mishra with the Abolith spawn but still takes 8. With nothing else, he passes. Rodrigo draws from afar on his upkeep and then draws for turn. He plays an island and casts Orzov Signet. Leaving up all of his mana, he just passes after that. Omar draws and plays Magus the Wheel. With nothing else, he passes. I draw and try to cast Green Sun's Twilight again, putting 8 into the X. It resolves, and I get to keep a 9 fingers keen and Terramorphic Expanse off of it, putting them both into play. Going to combat, I swing my bird token at Rodrigo, revealing a swamp from the Pact Weapon, who just takes the two in the air. In my second main phase, I then play the swamp and move the Pact Weapon onto nine fingers keen, passing. Andreas draws and plays a mountain. He then plays a weatherlight before going to combat. This time he makes two copies of the Iker Wellspring with the Lithoform engine and Mishra's trigger, and then swings Mishra at Rodrigo and the two 4-4s four at Omar. Rodrigo flashes in Chromium to block, while Omar takes 8. Andreas then moves to his end step, sacrificing the two Wellspring tokens, and draws two at the end of turn. Rodrigo draws from Ephara and then draws for turn. He goes to combat and smacks me for 6 with Chromium. He then casts the White Main Lion to get the Ephara trigger on Omar's turn and passes after that. Rodrigo draws and Omar draws for turn. This has Omar playing a mountain in his main phase, and he recasts Tarolf. He then activates Nykthos for 5 red mana. He moves to cast a Blasphemous Act, and Andreas responds by cracking Mishra's Bobble to look at Rodrigo's top card. Rodrigo then has his own response as well, using Render Silent to counter the wipe and prevent Omar from casting spells for the rest of turn. Omar then goes to combat, and swings the Fire Servant and Magnus at Andreas for 7. He then passes, and during the end step, Rodrigo once more flashes in the White Mane Lion. Rodrigo gets to draw on my upkeep, and I draw for turn, and go to combat. I swing the Swan and Keen at Rodrigo, revealing Yahira's Respite off the Pact Weapon. He then takes the hits, and Keen gets to reveal some cards, letting me keep a Basilisk Gate to my hand. In my post-combat main phase, I then play the Basilisk Gate, and then cast a Geode Golem. I then pass, with Rodrigo once more using the line at the end step to get a card on Andreas' turn. Andreas draws, and plays a Mountain. He replays Mishra, and goes to combat. He makes an Iker Wellspring token to draw a card, and swings it at Omar. Omar takes the hit, and after that, Andreas moves through the phases, sacrificing the Wellspring on his end step to draw a card, while Rodrigo continues to get maximum value from the White Mane Lion shenanigans and draw on his upkeep. Rodrigo draws during his upkeep, and then for turn, and plays an island. He casts a Fractured Identity and targets my Pact Weapon. This exiles it, and he and all of his other opponents get one. He then swings Chromium at me for lethal, but I respond by casting Yahira's Respite to Fog, but unfortunately Rodrigo gets to steal my card tutor, and he finds a Plains with the Opposition Agent. After combat, he plays Sword of Hearth and Home, and then equips it onto Chromium. He then discards a card to equip the Pact Weapon to his commander as well, and passes. Omar draws, and makes 5 mana off of Nykthos. He then casts Chain Reaction with 10 creatures on the board, and Fire Servant will double that 10 damage to 20 damage to each creature. This, coupled with the fact that Tarolf will have all that splash over damage going at our faces, is enough to kill all of Omar's opponents, winning him the game. Game review time. So, Atraxa Grand Unifier was kinda cool. I got 6 cards out of 10, which seems pretty good considering I paid 7 mana for it, but beyond that, I don't really think I was able to do much with the deck. Andreas had lent it to me, 
and he told me beforehand that it was mostly made out of Commander Legends Baldur's Gate, so that's why there's a gate sub theme to it, plus I got to play with Pact Weapon, which is always a win for me. Andreas himself was actually playing the Mishra deck that he changed slightly from the pre-con, and it was pretty powerful considering how little he actually changed. It's certainly one of the more interesting commanders for Grixis in the last little while, and I love things that animate artifacts. People are probably going to comment how much we targeted Rodrigo, and rightly so. This was the last game of the day that we filmed with him, and his typical playstyle is hard, hard control. He will lock down the board, not let anyone do anything, and then slowly kill you with commander damage or other incremental value. I did not want this to happen again, so I was going for him pretty hard from the get-go. Unfortunately, this meant he used a lot of his resources against me, which opened up the way for Omar to keep trying to resolve board wipes with Torolf. Torolf is basically one of those kind of decks that typically the longer a game goes, the more likely they are to win since they're going to have drawn into more and more pieces that they need to win the game. In this case, Torolf just basically needs a lot of ways to deal damage to creatures, which Red has an abundance of, and as you saw, even losing a card like Blasphemous Act, Omar was still able to win with Chain Reaction. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.